Hey guys, this is Hillary with the Acne is Evil channel, and it's been a couple years since I have um, done a video, um, and I think where I left off was just that on my journey with acne, I came to a place where I had to let the problem go and, you know, cease my quest for finding the perfect solution. Um, I hope that doesn't sound discouraging to some of you who are on that quest because, um, you know, my heart's desire for my own skin has always been that I would find the root of the problem and not just address the symptoms, which is the breakouts. Um, but I realized that for my, my heart, for my, my, my emotional health, for my mind, it wasn't healthy for me to continue spending so much emotional energy on looking for the solution to my skin. And I found that by letting go, um, that really brought me um, closer to healing my skin. My breakouts were less. Um, it was almost like taking that focus off of it allowed it to, to um, decrease. And um, so I wanted to share that, but also, um, you know, this has been about a 14 battle, a year battle for me. And um, the one thing I've never really wanted to do is go to the dermatologist and take what they recommended because, you know, topical antibiotics, birth control, um, antibiotic in pill form, I was just not into that. Um, but I decided the last couple of weeks I was going to go to the dermatologist and just see what they recommended and then really um, pray and consider if I should move forward with something. And so I went and, um, you know, they, I'm, I'm breastfeeding right now, so I couldn't do any of the pill stuff, um, but they recommended a topical antibiotic, erythromycin in the morning and clindamycin at night. And so I pondered this for a while and I felt like, you know, I really have never given this a shot. Is it gonna damage my body long-term? Is it gonna damage my skin? Is it unhealthy? Um, and I decided, you know, this is a 30 days and I'm just gonna give it a shot. So I wanted to share with you what's happened so far. I have to say, my skin is probably the clearest it's been in 10 years. <laughs> After like four or five days, I already started noticing um, swelling in my face going down. Um, my biggest problem has been the jawline. And this is where I've been getting these painful cystic bumps that are underneath the skin that topical treatments just don't even touch. Um, I, I purchased a really nice, fairly expensive skincare regimen um, that was like a probiotic formula. And I would say my skin looked healthier while I was taking it, but it just didn't touch this underneath the skin cystic acne. So um, my skin hasn't been very bad. It gets worse kind of in the middle of my pregnancies and then after I have the baby it kind of clears up and then gets kind of worse again. So it wasn't really even bad before I was taking, started um, the erythromycin and clindamycin. Um, but I can honestly say within four or five days, it was like going away. And I'm, on, I'm at about two and a half weeks right now and I don't think my skin has been this clear literally in 10 years. And now what's gonna happen after I stop taking it? Is it gonna come back worse? Is it going to not come back at all for a while? I have no idea, but that's part of why I wanted to document this for anybody who has been at a crossroads with whether to even try, you know, typical medicine that they recommend at the dermatologist. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've tried the caveman regimen, which was a really interesting journey. I've tried different diets and detoxes. And I just felt like, oh, I just wanna give my skin a break. It seemed like right when those big pesky bumps underneath the skin were healing, new ones were coming. And I just wanted to give it a break. I don't wanna scar my skin. And so for me, trying this out, I just feel like the risks were really minimal. Um, and so far, I'm really happy to have a break. I, I feel like I've learned not to put my hopes in these different products because it's just been such a long journey. I don't wanna be um, hopeless about it because maybe it is a long lasting effect, I don't know. So anyways, that's where I'm at. I would love to hear where you're at on your quest for um, beating your acne. And I hope that you are 
um, finding, getting results, and that you are getting encouraged and getting out of the, the pit of despair because it can be so discouraging when you're in the middle of it. And um, I'd love to hear from you. So leave a comment and um, I'll be tuning in in a couple weeks to share uh, what's happened at the end of 30 days. And then probably again after about a month to see if it's still clear and what I'm gonna do to follow up the treatment. Anyways, talk to you soon. Bye.